What's on the bench today? We've got some uh, oscillators, these canned oscillators. I love these things. Um, so I think I did a video once before where I opened one of these up, the big ones. And uh, there's obviously a lot of room in there, put stuff. But I've never opened up one of the little ones. Uh, these are basically the same thing, only in a smaller package. But, you know, it's like a Pringles can. It's like, how much do they, how, how do they put things in there? And so I thought uh, today we would take a look inside and see, uh, see how it fits. All right. Uh, so to open these up, I just ground the lid off. And uh, uh, one of them I broke the... Uh, I broke the little crystal opening it up, but uh, that's okay. We could see inside. Then I opened up another one and only slightly, <laughs> only slightly damaged the crystal on that one. And so we can, uh, we can uh, open it up and take a look. So you can see that there's a little board in there. It looks like a little alumina board with uh, some traces and some components, capacitors and stuff. And then there's an IC in there. Um, I expected just to see maybe a transistor, but there's actually an IC in there. So if people know know what that IC is doing, that would be interesting uh, to see to, to see all what's inside these things. I don't think I've ever seen a schematic for them, but uh, they are they are clever inside. The crystal itself is kind of suspended just directly above the PC board on little springs. So these, these two contacts on either side of the crystal, the crystal has two metal contacts, and then they make contact to the PC board with these two little springs. Now, they're not really springs. Uh, I mean, they are springs. They're used for shock absorbing and stuff. So yes, they are springs, but uh, they're actually wire that have been coiled up and they do solder on. All right, quick little video. I just wanted to take a look inside.